How are you doing tonight? I hope you're well. Um, I am here tonight with what I think will be a pretty fun video. Um, I've never done something like this before, um, and I think, I think it'll be really fun. Um, also, I, oops, there's a fuzz. I got my nails done today. Aren't they cool? Those are so cool. I'm in a wedding this weekend, so that's exciting. Which is sort of the reason why I bought the things that I did. Um, so, I put all of my purchases in this, in this Amazon box. Um, and I'm going to basically just show you everything. Um, one by one, um, and then I also have a pair of scissors in case I want to cut into anything and open it up, um, cause I'm kind of, I love to swatch, like, new makeup, um, and this is mostly makeup, um, I've got some hair accessories, um, that's it. Most of it's makeup. I think I have like one skincare item, maybe. Um, so, um, I hope that you enjoy this. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Um, I don't really have a regular posting schedule as of yet. Um, I'm kind of just doing it as I can. Um, also, if you hear outside noises, um, I have a window open, and it's been raining all day, and I just, I like the air flow in my room, so, um, but, anyway, uh, please like and subscribe, um, if you haven't already, um, leave me a comment, let me know, uh, what you'd like to see, so, I'll get started here, that's been long enough of an intro. item I have are these Ioni, maybe that's how you pronounce it, 3D Faux Mink Lashes. Um, it says, designed to be extra full by adding volume, length, and body to your lashes. I guess I should say that I got all of this at Dollar Tree for like, probably like $15 total. Um, I've been hearing some not terrible things about Dollar Tree makeup and products, so I thought why not try some? Um, so instead of spending money on actual drugstore makeup like I normally do, I'm, I'm not really a luxury makeup person, but, um, these are Natural Light Wispy. I love the packaging. It's really pretty. I suppose it's a dollar twenty-five instead of a dollar. But um, I wanted some lashes that were like I, not super thick and sort of just accented my own. Um, since I'm doing my own makeup for the wedding, so so yeah, these are the lashes I got. Put those over here. Um, next I'll show you the hair clips I got. Um, they're little stars. I wish that they were butterflies, but, you know, I have been wanting some of these for a while to kind of clip back my bangs, um, silver sparkles in them, which I love silver sparkles, and I love that there are three green ones. That makes me so happy. Okay, so there are those. Um, let's see here. I'll take this out. Uh, let's see. This is a 
blender sponge. I always love the way that this plastic sounds. This is a blender sponge and stand, which I think the stands are really cute. Um, they're especially cute for, for drying your blender because you're supposed to wet your beauty blender before you use it. But then I always hate it because I just leave it and God knows what happens to it. Um, so I always need a new beauty blender as well. I don't ever really use foundation, um, but I am going to do like a trial run of the makeup I bought. Not in this video because that would be way too long. Um, but in an upcoming video, I will do a trial run um, of the makeup I bought so that I can kind of see how it works. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is really cute. It's like a rose gold stand and the um, beauty blender is pink. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the name. Okay, so what we've got here which I was surprised to see Revlon at Dollar Tree. Although the packaging looks strange. Like, it doesn't look like the packaging you'd find at, like, a drugstore. Um, but this is a Kiss Lip Tint. Um, it says, the look of a stain with the feel of a balm. Hybrid formula infused with coconut oil, so lips feel moisturized and smooth. Pillowy soft cushion tip gives a touch of color and builds for more impact. Juicy tint with a balm-like finish dries to a blotted lip look. Blotted lip look. Blotted lip look. I like that. Um, so I'm going to try as quiet as I can to open this real quick. Cutting sounds might not be too bad either. I just don't want to put it super close to the mic because I don't want it to be like. Oh. wasn't as satisfying as I thought. How do I use this? Do I press down on it? Ooh. I'm not gonna do it like too many times because I don't wanna, um, I don't want to get too much. If it even works, you know, I don't hilarious. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I'll figure out how this works tonight. Uh, maybe I won't. We're gonna put that away for now. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So the next thing we've got is essentially Angel's Burr <laughs> Blur Face Primer. Um, it says from Be Pure. Um, it's a hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. I need a new primer. I usually use e.l.f. Uh, putty, if, poreless putty, if you saw um, my last video, or one of my last videos, but, um, so 
it's, I mean, it's pretty much just a, a primer. Um, so I'm gonna cut this one open too. I think this should be a little easier. I'm hoping. This is the the uh, container, the packaging. So I'm gonna put a little on like that. Put that to the side. I'm gonna just rub it in. It smells nice. Like it doesn't seem like overly fragranced. I guess I'll let that see, uh, I guess I'll see what that does on my skin. I'm, I'm kind of doing a trial run so that I don't, like, accidentally give myself a skin infection or something, so. Um, and then the next item I have is Essentially Ageless, um, Hydrating Serum Foundation. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. This is the lightest shade I could find. It's light medium. Is this gonna look good on my skin? I have no idea. I don't wear foundation. I don't know how to find a shade. I don't know. Um, this is also from Be Pure. Um, so, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna cut this one open as well. similar to the primer and the way that it looks. So, um, there's this. I'm gonna try some on my hand. And, oh my god. <coughs> it just started coming out. So, love that for me. It just, it looks so dark. Like, I don't know. That doesn't really match, does it? That's unfortunate. Well, if I eat oh gosh that's so yellow sorry yeah that's not gonna match my skin tone whatsoever it doesn't really have a scent either well <laughs> look at look at how yellow that is that's crazy um okay that makes me a little sad, but that's okay. Um. <laughs> However, I am um, planning on doing some self tanner, so it could be not bad. To the brow pencil from LA Colors, um, new and improved. Wow, uh, it's an eyebrow pencil with a spoolie included. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess I'll open this one too. So, okay, this one.
I'm just like and try it on my hand here. This is more pencil than like. Oh, I kind of like that. I just feel like the one I have now is so thick. But this one like looks like it would be really good for making like, um, like actual like hair piece, like you know, hairs. So. bun usually most nights, especially when it's warm, um, just to keep it off my neck because it seems to make me really hot. So, um, and I saw this and thought this would be a great scrunchie to have for bedtime and it sort of looks like those, um, like silk pajama sets. So, another makeup item. Um, this is a blush. Now, I don't have a blush in this color. I have a lot of really pinky or like orangey, uh, like coral blushes, and so I, I thought I would get this. Um, it is Peach Rose in the shade Peach Rose. It's a powder blush. Um, it says it highlights cheeks, so I'm going to see a powder. about this one I wanted to swatch swatch this one so okay that one came out okay it comes with that little crappy brush that like who's using this makeup item I have. It's also from LA Colors. Um, it's a natural, sh it's in shade Natural Shine. Um, it's a hydrating lipstick with a creamy finish. So, it says it has aloe, vitamin E and aloe vera. Um, so, this is the shade. It's a nice, it looks like a nice nude. If you can see the picture, her lips look like gold and metallic, although the lipstick, I don't metallic so um, I guess we will just have to find out so I like kind of the rose gold Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, that smells good. It smells like I might. Oh, I like that a lot. Mm. That's an interesting nude color. I think it would look better with a, um, like a lip liner, which I do have. So, um, but I also have lip balm on so yeah but I like that alright oh I lied that's not the last makeup product this is the last makeup product um, this is um, from Be Pure it's pressed face powder it says it provides a smooth matte finish and it sets makeup and control shine um, it's green tea and I don't really love my press powder or my loose powder, I guess it is, that I have right now. So, I'm going to open this up here. Might be a little loud. I'm going to try and not make it loud. Okay. I'm assuming it's translucent. Uh, like it doesn't have like a real shade. Yeah, okay. So, this is a compact. There is no real shade. It's just like a white clear powder. I don't know if you can see that. Someone has swatched this already. That's crazy. I did not swatch this. There is a literal finger swipe. <laughs> I mean, I guess the package isn't really sealed, but <laughs> crazy. Oh my god. Well, guess what? I don't care. It was a dollar twenty-five. So, so I put that on. Top. It might be nice. I guess I'll, I I won't know until I put it on um, over something. That's hilarious. Okay. Probably don't do what I just did. Oh. Don't do that. I just don't care that much. I'm not going to go back to Dollar Tree and return that. So. Okay. This is what I'm pretty excited about. I've heard some okay things about this brand. I know Aldi has this brand. Um. So this is Pons. Um, this is called Perfect Color Complex. Anti-marks for natural color. Uh, it's a beauty cream. It's for normal to dry skin. Um, it says advanced vitamin B3 double brightening formula boosts skin's natural brightening ability from deep inside. Clinically proven to fade away dark marks for natural color outside. So I think it is... So this is a moisturizer. Um, I think the plastic might be a little too loud to try and do this um, right now. At least it's sealed, so I know that no one has, has messed with it. Um, but when I when I do the trial makeup, um, I will. I will. press powder thing really threw me off. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. So, there's that. Okay, last two items here. Um, this is so beautiful. I should be wearing this right now with my ponytail, but um, this is a scrunchie that has sort of like some ties on the end um, and the print of the 
fabric is got butterfly half butterflies on it. So I love this. I saw it and I was like, that's gonna be so cute. I do um, a lot of like buns and stuff, and I think for work it'll be super cute. So they also had um, this in black. I almost got the black one too, and then I was like, you don't need both. It's a scrunchy, 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 scrunchy. I love that word, scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy. So beautiful, right? Okay, and then the final item I got. Is this makeup bag? I can never have enough bags, little bags, makeup bags, ever. Like, I always need more bags. So, it's the inside. Looks similar to the outside. Um, but yeah, I was excited about this. They had it in a bunch of different colors. Um, and depending on what makeup products I find that I enjoy, and that I want to wear for this wedding, um, I will. I will maybe put them in here. So, but yeah. So that was my haul. I'm gonna come back to this and see what it's doing. It did absolutely nothing. So maybe I need to like. whatever. Um, so, thank you for watching. Um, I'm planning on doing a, uh, Chewy haul, um, next. Um, and then I will do the trial run for my makeup as well. Um, so watch out for those videos. Um, I thank you for being here with me. Again, like and subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Um, I hope that no sounds in this were too out, um, and that you were able to find some relaxation tonight, or today, or whenever you're watching this. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.